Hello everyone! Good morning! This is Dr. Sarah Namoko and I am your lecturer in your research course. In this video tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to do referencing and in-text citation using the APA 6th edition format through the references feature of your MS Word. Okay? I promise you it will be fun and it will be very easy. Okay. Now, for many times, I have encountered friends and students who are confused or who are doubtful or they don't know how to do APA 6th edition formatting of their Word documents or of their dissertation. And it's, it's sad if you don't know it because it's, it's a bit challenging, you know that? Now, I want, to, I want to let you know that it can be done very easily, okay? Just in the click of your fingertips, okay? Now, suppose this is your document, okay? Suppose this is your proposal or your dissertation. Now, I have, in, I have in, indicated here some blanks to show you that in these areas, in my original text, I need, I put the here references. Okay, now how do we do references? In your in, in your Word document, you go to references and then click uh, go to citation and bibliography. Okay, and then um, we are going later on. We are going to insert citation, but before that, it's very important that we have to check that the style is in APA sixth edition because there are some other. Uh, styles here but since we are in education since he, therefore we are using APA 6th edition format once you have uh, confirmed that is in APA style they, then you can uh, continue with inserting citation add new source and then here in the type of oh, sorry but uh, sorry class uh, we need to minimize this so that we can open the source Okay. Um, again, go to citation and bibliography. Make sure that it is in APA and then insert citation. Okay. Now, in the in the type of source, it can be from book, book section, journal article, proceedings, report, and so on. You choose there. Actually, it's up to you. It's it's your decision which document to choose depending on your reference okay in this case since i'm going to cite this i'm going to click journal article okay now how do you know that it is a journal article let me show you uh, first you know that it is a journal article because it has the name of the journal okay it bears the year in which it was published the volume the page number the publisher of course the title sorry the title and the authors of course you have the abstract the date it was received received and accepted a uh, keywords and then the body of the journal okay suppose this is my source okay so i am going to go back here click the journal article and then click author suppose the author is only one and it's me so you just say namoko sara o okay and then okay but in this case we have how many authors here i think we have five one two three four five so we are going to do this individually how to do that click the edit button here and then add the names uh, individually okay Peggy. Okay, it should be Peggy. Okay. And then add, edit again. Uh, here, yeah, I need to, um, I will copy this because it's difficult to memorize. And T. And then next, you have Sadik Ogan. Next, you have Sindoror. Emin, and then the next is Sindoror. Okay, that's the names. These are the names of the authors. Add and okay. Now the title of the 
pot paper is this one okay and the journal it is called computers and and education now if you have researches that is relating to uh, computers and education then you can publish your paper here for the year okay it was published in 2012 and the page number is 423 to 435 now are we done no because we still need to put some more information so you just click show all bibliography fields and then it will show you the needed information now here we need to put the publisher which is Elsevier and then some more um, volume number is 59 so there is no issue number so we can skip that suppose you you access this article today so you are going to put 2020 September September 15 URL if you can still remember the URL then you can just copy paste if not it's all right you just copy the DOI of the article so the DOI is here copy that mm -hmm. or is copy okay, again copy copy link location and then paste okay once you're done once all necessary fields are filled out then you can just click okay now you have the authors okay then i will erase this because i put that on purpose to remind me that i need a reference there now according to apa format according to the rule okay let's go let's go according to the rule for in-text citation if you have uh, three to five authors then you can just put all the names of the authors um, the ampersand before the last before the name of the last author then followed by comma in the year it was published however if you have six or more authors you can just say Harris et al comma and the year it was published or Harris et al comma period sorry comma and the year that it was published so for example in your document here how many authors do we have one two three four five so you can just indicate all the names suppose there is the fifth name and it's Namoko okay just for example so you you need to edit but in this case you cannot edit so what are you going to do you click this here and then um, go to convert citation to static text and then there you are you can now edit so now there are six authors what are you going to do six names what are you going to do by rule you are going to say Ertmer et al period and then comma sorry period comma and then the year that it was published okay okay that is for the pro for example um for example this one is a direct quotation from the authors say for example be very careful to use uh, quotation marks because quotation marks indicate that you borrowed the phrase from the author verbatim no? okay so if for example you borrow that and from your source it is located on page say for example it is located page 424 so what are you going to do you just put comma page 424 okay then it tells the author that you have copied these words this one from the author and it is located uh, located on page 424 of that reference okay okay that is only an example now we are going to go back to the original one because um, there are actually five authors okay say for example here your source is a website okay what are you going to do next 
click reference go to make sure again that it is APA go to insert uh, we will go to insert citation and then add new source this time it is web site okay so for example here no? your website is IT ITEEA okay now this is the name of the website and this is the name of your web page okay so we are going to click this because it's the name of the web page and the website is ITEEA okay let us see if we have author here author do we have author let me make it big okay no because this one is a reference of this page okay there's no author there is also no year let me see no year so what are the information that we're going to fill out no author no year okay the url is this we're going to copy and then of course show all the fields we are going to fill out the year it was accessed 2020 september 15 and okay now you it says there nd because it has no date okay suppose you have already filled all the necessary um, citations needed in your text what are we going to do now okay you are going to go to your references suppose you have already finished all chapters one to five then you are going to go to you are going to do your references how are you going to do that okay so again go to references and then click bibliography usually i do i use what is this okay i usually use the second style okay let's go back i usually use the second style okay okay but anyway class you see that it comes out i don't know what's the problem here but if you are if you are not recording it will come out okay later on i'll show you how okay class now because the, there was a problem with me earlier recording so if you click the bibliography uh, the different styles will come out you see that there are three styles you just choose which style and automatically your references will come out in your word document okay so it's easy right you don't okay sorry it's double you can click you can edit delete that okay now there are only two references because there are only two that we added you see sayun ragid ka ayu mag references if say for example you have 50 or 100 references in a click of in a click of your fingertips humana ang imong references okay sayun ready ba okay Thank you for listening please please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy your research work okay bye bye god bless